Hey, keep me where the light is, keep me where the bright is To let me, can you show me where the ride is I've been on the low side, I've been on the high side Hi, welcome to the second video this week and this one I've been kind of waiting for because it's The Ordinary and I discovered it a while back through hyaluronic acid that I was looking at. Um, I will do a separate video on hyaluronic acid and its importance. Um, I think a lot of you out there have asked me about enlarged pores and hyaluronic acid is one of those things that is just really, really good for enlarged pores. Um, briefly, before we start, your pores are like a little cup and your sebaceous glands in your skin secrete uh, sebum <laughs> into this little cup which is your pore okay and as that fills it does that and it fills up to the top when it gets to the top it oxidizes so that's where you get black heads and sort of yellow heads and stuff like that as well okay depending on your climatic conditions but they usually come up as blackheads because we get dirt as well in them so the more they do that and you squeeze them you know, when you're squeezing your spots, you put pressure and you damage that cup as well. So please don't do that. Um, we'll go through another video where I will go through um, larger pores and a correct uh, procedure uh, to get you going on those. But I will say that that's kind of one of the things, the first things, if somebody with big pores, ha you know, you have big pores. I A little bit here, maybe a little bit here, but I don't suffer tremendously. But I did note that the hyaluronic acid which I'm going to show you there so their hyaluronic acid from the ordinary um, was one of the things I purchased a while back and um, I do use it um, but I kind of use it at night um, and I use a different hyaluronic acid only because it's purer this is 2% so it wouldn't be one of my favorites of the ordinary to be honest with you I bought this because I was in a bind I was waiting for my hyaluronic acid to come from Korea. Um, again, in another video, I will do more depth on hyaluronic acid. This is 2%. The one I get from Korea is 97% pure. So I just go with my one for Korea, from Korea and it goes into my skin more. But what you're doing basically, you can, like the hyaluronic, this has got other fantastic ingredients, amazing ingredients in it. So I do recommend it. Just for me, I prefer 97% hyaluronic acid. So what I did was I started applying this. It does diminish the pores I've noticed a little bit here. So you have your cup and when you clean your skin properly, so you do gentle steaming, astringents, you know, witch hazel and you get your pores nice and clean, what you need to do is fill them. So if you fill them with hyaluronic acid, it'll plump them, but it'll plump the walls of them and they'll, they'll eventually, they obviously are like that to start, but they will eventually close over and um, it is genetics so don't expect miracles but it is the best thing to do is hyaluronic acid or some form of serum to close over to, to fill those pores and stop and um, even if sebum comes in then even if sebum does come in it's it's mixing with the hyaluronic acid and it's much easier to get out so it's a good um that's my basic understanding of it okay so the other one that I do recommend, and I have used this, and I, th I found my skin lately just very, it, it just was really nice with this. I'm hoping you get this. Can you see it? It's the Buffet. So it's the Skin Buffet from The Ordinary. This I really liked. There's a lot of good stuff in this. There's a, there's a shed ton of peptides and everything to feed your skin, antioxidants, all sorts. So it's like an all-in-one go-to. This is the product I would kind of say, look, if you're on a really strict budget and you're looking for a couple of things, this has hyaluronic acid in it as well. I would stick with this. I would go, yeah, I'm going to get this. I'm going to put it on every morning. Really nice serum. I did find my skin getting a little smoother with it. Um, obviously, I'm using, I have a bit of an unfair advantage. I'm using A313. <laughs> but I, I still, you know, it doesn't interact with it. And that's what I love about it because the ordinary are so kind in their ingredients. There's no... They cut the fancy bull out of it and go, you want hyaluronic acid? There's hyaluronic acid. We'll deliver it with these because hyaluronic acid that we get in skincare is made in labs. So it is quite expensive, obviously. So that's why I get mine from Korea and I do pay about 15 euro, I think, for it, which I think is an absolute bargain. Anywho's, we've then on to Matrixel. 
this has kind of been the wonder product along with the retinol that they do, the matrixyl. So they call this, there's a matrixyl comp, uh, 3000 compound in this. And again, this is like a mega feeding and antioxidant for your skin. This helps with all sorts of things like wrinkles, fine lines, dryness. And um, again, once you're putting a serum on, you are filling pores. So it's great. They're all lovely consistencies, really nice. Um, I'll show you this one is they're really nice thick consistencies so if you are looking for something to minimize those pores because i seem to be getting a lot of comments on the facebook page a lot of messages on the facebook page and a message you're going have you anything for you know how can you minimize pores how can you minimize pores so that's how you minimize pores and um, people also think as well when you put hot water on your pores expand when you put cold it's a contraction of the skin it's not the actual pore it's the skin so what you're looking to do is get to the actual pore a little bit okay now, the next thing I went for was uh, squalene because this fights free radicals. So this is the squalene, it's still in the box. Um, I have used it, I just left it in the box for some strange reason. Um, I think I was trying to get myself um, organised for this video. So um, here we are, <coughs> squalene, 100%, 100%, why can't I talk? What's wrong with me? Is it age? I don't know. Um, <laughs> comments in the box below am i just crazy this squalene is brilliant for it's 100 squalene it's great for putting in your face again another great product to take out those pores right to fill up those pores um <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me squalene does help with um again free radicals so that's what i got it for i was kind of like going oh pollution you know atmospheric you know components sun rain wind everything and I have, as you can see, a little rosacea. It has gone down significantly because of the A313. And I will be going on Adapalene this week. Adapalene, again, is the only thing I can get. I can't get tretinone because it's Ireland. And you know what it's like. So the other product I bought from The Ordinary as well. And I got all these from Mars Pharmacy, who were brilliant. They sent me a beautiful box. You'll, you'll have seen it in the photograph. And I got a free Mars bar. <laughs> so maybe it was just me with the Mars bar. I was like, oh, free food. If anybody gives me free food, I'm yours. Okay. So I was looking for a delivery system of vitamin C. And I was using vitamin C at night. I was using vitamin C. I am shooting in my bedroom, sitting in my bed. Um, <laughs> and welcome to my boudoir. Mm -hmm. um, I was using vitamin C. And I found that when I was using it at night, most of it was going on the pillow. And it was horrible looking on my white linens, orange everywhere. So it looked like somebody slept in my bed with false tan. <laughs> so I, I really was getting tired of this and I was getting tired. I put it on during the day. It was very hard to get a good vitamin C that was compatible with the cream, with my, you know, with, with my foundation and my cream and my sunscreen and everything else. Um, so I came across this and I thought this is a fantastic delivery method. I know they do have a moisturizer that's very good. And the moisturizer does have vitamin C in it. This is literally l absorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Um, it comes, this is my new tub. <laughs> um, it has a safety lid on it, a little airtight lid on it, because what happens with vitamin C is it oxidizes. So much like your sebum, it oxidizes. When it oxidizes, you'll get it in little bottles, usually like this. And they're dark colored box, uh, bottles. And um, the reason being is because any sunlight on this vitamin C, this is not vitamin C, but any sunlight on vitamin C, hence the dark bottle, any sunlight does degrade it and any air oxidizes. So every time you use vitamin C, tighten the lid on something very tight and keep it somewhere. I keep all my skincare products where sun doesn't shine on them, where they don't get near sun or excessive temperatures. So away from radiators, all that kind of stuff, away from electrical heat, all of that. I'm quite serious about it. <laughs> You'd think it'd look better for it, wouldn't you? Um, I'm, I'm looking a bit like 10 rounds with Mike Tyson because I did get my eyelashes done. And of course, when I, when I get my eyelashes done, as Magda from the Beauty Rooms and the Pro Lash Studio, she takes me into the Pro Lash Studio to do my eyelashes. And as she knows, I am highly sensitive to um, tape of any kind. I did say this before, it's my only allergy. Surgical tape, I had heart monitors on me before. The glue took weeks to come off me. And I was itching. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that they use in it. 
but it doesn't work on me. It doesn't it doesn't like me. Um, so this vitamin C, back to the vitamin C, this vitamin C I figured was a good way to keep the vitamin C as stable as possible and not to have it oxidize and not to have it go off on me because most times when you get it like this you'll use it and after about all honesty you'll get it, it should be clear when you get it. So when you get it usually vitamin C is clear and the reason they do that is that so you can see the oxidization and you know when it gets very yellow it's no use throw it out because it goes down in percentages of, of I suppose potency is the word I'm looking for. So with vitamin C I figured this was the best way so what happens here is I usually have a little palette it's a little plastic palette I bought in pennies there's not for pennies they're not sponsoring it nor are Mars Pharmacy nor are the beauty rooms and Prolife Studios and Nace they're just lots of my favorites that's all. So usually you get, a, you get a little scoop with this, which I can't find, very professional. <laughs> um, you usually get a little scoop and you pop it in, it's a tiny scoop, it's like half my fingernail. And you pop, I pop it onto the palette and I miss my, mix my cream with it, my day cream with it, or my night cream, whichever. It does not go yellow, yay. It doesn't, so I wake up and my pillows are clean, they're not destroyed. So it's a really good form and then you can tighten the lid back on. It's in a dark jar, keep it in a drawer and it's, it's just brilliant. It keeps the vitamin C active because the yellower vitamin C gets, the less active it is. So if you took um, the juice of our, an orange orange juice and you put it on a, on a table, you'll watch it. It will go very dark yellows and browns. It'll go down from orange, from that yellowy orange down to more deeper oranges, down to brown. So it oxidizes and it loses its potency. So that is the vitamin C. I can thoroughly recommend this one. It's probably the most stable way to store vitamin C and to use vitamin C. And I can testify it just, when you mix it, it doesn't yellow up or anything. It's, it's bloody brilliant. Great product. I've loved all the ordinary that I've got. I've like been really like, oh my God, I'm just, I think my favorite has got to be probably the buffet. I do, apart from the vitamin C, which I love, is the buffet. So I do love the buffet. That is fantastic. Now for the piece de resistance. This is the one I think we've all been waiting for. Um, and I, I haven't used this yet, so I'm a little bit like, ooh. I've seen lots of really cool um, videos with this. And you're going to see another one. <laughs> um, and what happened was I went out to um, Egypt and I decided um, to bathe in the blood of oxes. Now, <laughs> it will look like this, okay? Um, I just, I thought that I saw this and I thought I needed an AHA, BHA peel. That's alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy, hydroxy acid. They're natural forms of acid that will exfoliate, okay? I'm not a great believer in rubbing to exfoliate. I used to do it. Oh God, when I think back what I used to do to my skin. Oh, crazy woman. So I'm not a great fan of exfoliating by rubbing. Honestly, um, as I said to somebody, I use CeraVe. You know, I, all, I everybody knows I use the CeraVe moisturizing cleanser uh, with peptides and ceramides. So peptides and ceramides like that in the buffet, you just can't get enough of them. Feed that skin, feed that skin. So... The problem with this was um, I wanted something that was smooth on and not rub. And everything seems to be rub and rub and abrasive and la 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 la. And I do use Dermalogica on my um, decollage. Um, it's the micro beads, the micro exfoliant. And I do use that maybe once a week there, that's it. I tend to leave it enough alone and moisturize it and cleanse it and stuff. But the, Cera uh, the CeraVe that I use is brilliant. So I take my face off with the CeraVe, I take my makeup off with the CeraVe, I take the day off with the CeraVe and I start the day with the CeraVe and I find it very, very moisturising. So I wanted a non-scrubbing um, exfoliant, so I wanted something quite good and quite serious. So I got really serious with this. So this is the one from The Ordinary, as I said, it's the AHA. Um, Everybody's calling it like, you know, the vampire facial and or the vampire exfoliant and stuff like that. Because as you can see, it looks like I've gone out and stolen somebody's blood. <laughs> I think, didn't they used to in, in, in ancient Egypt or somewhere, you know, bathe in the blood of virgins or something. So maybe that's what I'm doing. So 
So for you, just for you, I am going to show you how this goes on, right? So as you can see, I'm still Mike tyson up, so I'm going to avoid the eye area. <coughs> Excuse me. Because just I have a little allergy there, so I do look a little bit puffy-eyed, but it goes down. I'm not worried about it. Um, but I'm just going to show you roughly how this goes on. So here it goes. Um, so this is... Oh, looks like a slasher movie. I've cut myself. I'm kind of looking at myself going, this is crazy. So I do believe then it's just a case of rubbing around. Okay. And anybody who's going to say, oh, she's not using gloves to rub in a, a, a thing. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it would be only if I was... Um, a skincare, um, a skincare professional in a salon doing this, I would absolutely use gloves because eventually you will actually um, damage your fingers as well. You'll, you'll exfoliate your fingers way too much. So, so far, so good. You know, it's a little stinging, but no, not bad. Okay, uh, oh God, it looks like, yeah, she's just been cut across the head. It's a crazy looking um, effect. Ooh, it does feel nice. It does. You, it it feels. It does feel stingy. I'm not gonna lie. It feels a bit stingy. I have avoided um, my little piece in the eye area, hopefully, and it's not stinging it anyway. Even if it has gotten in a bit, it's not stinging it. This is a woman who has just bathed in the blood of several virgin oxen uh, to gain her beauty. I think the boy, the Vikings. You, I, I feel like a scene from Vikings. You know, yes, an offering to the gods. Um, so that is it. I'm going to take some um, face hand cat wax to take this off because it's like ridiculous and covered in blood. It's crazy. So this is how it goes on. It sits on for 10 to 12 minutes. Um, I would say absolutely no more than 12 minutes because I can feel this thing all, uh, already. Um, it's a great exfoliant and you don't have to rub it and it's not abrasive on your skin. It doesn't damage your skin. Please, please, please stop using apricot scrubs on your face and on your decollage use them on your arms or your elbows where you get dry skin but please don't put them near your, your face they're just not good um they're they're you know they're a generation or two ago of face care we've we've advanced since then so this is where we've advanced to smearing blood on our face <laughs> so i'm going to go remove this and then we're going to finish up and um hopefully i'll still have a face left <laughs> so back still have a face um it has <laughs> it has done a little bit of um, harm to uh, to where I was already reacted to the, the tape. It's not. Don't worry about it. I've had this before. It's the bane of my skin. Um, so, and I'm hoping that the the adapalene and stuff when I get on it, and the A3 and three will make my skin a little bit stronger. So, in that area, that eye area is just it's as I said sensitive to tape. So my skin is still wet, and what I like to do when it's still wet is I love to get my buffet. I just love my buffet. So I go a bit crazy with the serums because I've what I've done now is I have obviously um, stripped my skin, exfoliated. So now it's clean, clear, and what I need to do is, while it's still dry, pop on all the good stuff for it to soothe it, um, to get it fed. And that's what I'm doing. I'm feeding the skin. So this is me feeding my skin. I do love putting the buffet on. It's so freaking good. It's really, really good. Um, I can't recommend it enough. I just noticed that it's really great under makeup and it just feels really nice. And I've noticed that my skin is barring today with these. Uh, it looks quite fresh, you know. The Matrixel I also put on as well. Um, just again, because this Matrixel 3000 compound that they're all raving about. Um, there's, so far, the studies have shown that it is actually very good. So, But it, there would not be anything like the level of scientific study that has been done on known and stuff. And these scientific studies take years because we are talking about anti-aging and effects on the skin. And they're not immediate. So that is leading me to a point I want to make. Skin care doesn't happen overnight. You don't sort of get something and go ping, now I'm beautiful again. The A313 did really go bang straight away. And that's fine, that can happen. You know, you can start using a cream that is right for you and it starts making your skin look better very quickly. 
But overall, what you're talking about here is if you're talking investing at least two months. So when you buy something like this, it should last you two months. So you should be using it for two months and not giving up on that mess. Of course, it's damaging your skin. Um, in fairness, I found this, the, the ordinary the AHA peel, I found this very mild. Um, this was pre-existing and it just flared up a little bit more and that's it. It wasn't a cause of this. This, I believe, is made, I don't know if I did say this, but it's the pepper. It's the uh, pepper plant, so it's a pepperberry. Um, so that's that causes that's made that's made this. So this is causing the red colour. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was great. It didn't sting a whole heap. A little bit around here. Um, it didn't hurt here, but it did make them just a little more red. I don't know. Maybe it's because they're a little dry. To be honest, that's what happens. Is it makes my skin dry. So maybe because my skin is dry, it's it's dyed it a little bit. I don't know. Um, you tell me. But otherwise, my skin is actually really really soft and very very nice yeah well without makeup and mad hair because somebody did give out to me about my hair they said your hair you look like you fell out of bed your hair is all over the place my answer is I've got curly hair <laughs> it goes wild you know I've naturally wavy curly hair so it's not going to be controlled a bit like me there's another product I like, it's not the ordinary, but I do like it and I will do a review of more of these products because I'm going to start using more of these. Um, I found this in, actually in Aldi and I was shocked, I was like, oh okay, because I bought first of all the serum, the face serum, so it's Lamara. So Lamara is, I've, I've obviously, you can see, I spilled something on it, um, Lamara actually is a, it's, it's made with ski, seaweed, skiweed. <laughs> Hmm, interesting concept. Um, seaweed um, extracts and it's Irish and it's so cheap it's unbelievable. Like I really hope this skincare range really takes off and takes note and, and maybe can be competing with the ordinary because like that was like four ninety nine. This is the Hyaluronic Face Serum. Again, not as high a percentage as I use when I get it in from Korea but then the Koreans know about beauty skincare we all know that we all know the Koreans are ahead of the game so what the other thing I bought was hydrating facial oil and this was 4.95 as well everything pretty much anything I could find in the range was 4.95 and um, there is body shea butter creams and all these kind of things that I really want to try out but I haven't been able to get an Aldi with them all in it so basically it's a few squirts now I would say to anybody using this on their skin with false eyelashes I would be very careful, don't go too near the lashes. I just give a couple of sprays, I rub it between my hands and I press. And I'd always say press up because you have tiny little hairs on your face and they're open. They're the greatest receptors. Sorry, I am busy looking at where I'm putting it to avoid my false eyelashes. But these are the greatest receptors you have. And these receptors suck in, these little, you know, hair follicles suck in all the good stuff you put on your skin so always give it a lift up so that the hairs are raised and it gets right in there get the product in when you're cleansing generally it's down so you're taking stuff off your skin and off the hairs so out that way and down but for putting it on I always pat up and I just love this oil I've used it for a couple of nights now in a row and it, it, it does absorb in because I was kind of going Ugh oil you know how quick will this you know do, will it go in and it's fantastic and it was very healing so i found it really healing and very moisturizing so that's just like i know this was about the ordinary but this is one as well that's irish and we are the irish uh blog the irish beauty blog so the irish beauty blog don't even know my own blog name um so i would go with this one this was really really good the ordinary i just can't rave because each and every one of these products I think this was probably the most expensive, was the Vampire Facial. Um, and I think it was about, God, was it 11, 15 quid? Something like that, 15 euros, 11 euros. Um, and I can't, I just can't say how quick Mars were. Um, I ordered Sunday night, obviously, sitting in the jammies. I ordered the skincare and it was here by Wednesday. So kudos to Mars. Kudos to Magda and the girls in Pro Lash. I got my lovely eyelashes done. Um, so tomorrow I look great because this goes down um, so that's the, the review of the ordinary really really good I'm going to try some moisturizers now with them as well 
but the serums I, I, I've just recently bought moisturizer that's why I didn't kind of obviously when you see my trip to Vilnius I bought more moisturizer and um, so I decided mm, okay we'll do the moisturizer another time um, but I'm really impressed with them the price point and the ingredients and they've kind of done what I did in the last few years was go oh god I'm sick of it mixed with this 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 and this and this I don't need these things I just want this this and this together and they've done that with these bottles of little bottles of gems of Matrixyl 3000, ceramides, peptides, amazing things just all crammed in there. So really goodness, really good, good stuff. I would say in a word of caution, just do be careful what you mix with what that you're not cancelling out. So check. I wouldn't miss, mix um, anything alkaline with acid because the alkaline will knock out the acid. Um, that's why I put those serums on after I put the acid on my skin. I went with the alkaline. So I put the acid on and then I went with the alkaline. And that calms down that. So that's why we did that. And the oil is the same. That oil is such a good oil. I mean, it's so healing. It's fantastic. So that's it for this week. I really hope you liked the video. Hope you liked our new intros. We got snazzy. and um, We're getting a bit creative. Um, I have lots more to come. Um, I am going to bring you a brand um, of natural CBD skincare. That's really, really good. They're topical oils and balms as well as a, a, an oil you can ingest. Um, I have used these on my skin and I used them once for my back pain and it was like, wow, okay, this is fantastic. So I tried them. I just love them. I'm actually going off now to put some of it on my, because this is what the, the it, it does get rid of these. So I'm going to put it on and I'm going to watch some documentaries on serial killers because I don't know why, I, I just fascinate by the psychosis. Um, and I just hope you enjoyed this video again. Um, we will have more, we'll have the fantastic CBD oil brand coming. We will also have a review of Bulldog for men, uh, which my son has been using, so we're gonna have a look at that as well. He's also been using A313, so we want to talk to him about that as well. How does it affect the male skincare? Um, there's lots coming, there's microneedling coming because I do have to microneedle this month. So you'll be watching my microneedling. There's a lot of stuff I have to share with you. And at the moment, I'm looking like, I, I, I'm looking at the screen going, girl, it looks like you had such a fight. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, me and Mike Tyson last night. What can I say? You know, a bitch got stroppy. So I had to sort them out. Um, so I hope you like these videos. If you do, you know what to do. There's a little thing down there that says like and subscribe. And I've put it at the beginning of the video and at the end. So please, please, please. I'm begging. I need love, affection and attention. Um, so share, subscribe, like, give it to your friends, give the information. I'm on a journey here so we get to see what this journey is about. Um, as I said, I'm not a skincare expert, not an esthetician. Um, I am going on my first course fairly soon. Um, so I will be doing some professional reviews then. But for the moment, it's me just figuring out what can I do to go into my 50s looking the best I can. And I think, you know, no, I'm not going to be a supermodel. I'm never going to be as thin and beautiful as other women. I don't care. You know, I just want to look as good as I can. So I hope you guys appreciate this and really like what I'm doing here. So sorry again, it's a long video and I ramble. <laughs> but listen... You've been great. So like, share, subscribe. Thank you. And remember, stay beautiful. Hey, keep me where the light is. Keep me where the bright.